Hello Wargamers, it's me Callum from Tabletop Banter and in today's video I'm going to go over uh, getting the most out of the hobby for yourself. Um, it's hopefully going to be a short video just to really hit home about what this hobby is about. Um, and and here, here is the punchline, this hobby is about you. It's not about anyone else, it's about you because you're the one investing your money, your time, your interest in this hobby. And I, I think the more people should uh, feel that their hobby needs are important. I know that might sound a bit strange, but I'll give you an example. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and keep this short because I've already recorded two that I've rambled on for far too long. So, <laughs> so basically, I turn up to the gaming store for a you know a pickup game. Just I'm going to go play some random person. Uh, they said, "Is anyone around?" I said, "Yes, I'll go and give them a game." Now, obviously, we've already agreed a points limit. Whatever it could be, 40k for example. And I turn up, and with 40k, the thing I absolutely love is an immersive scenario. I love seeing the models in terrain. I love seeing like painted armies on the table, love and care gone into them. They don't have to be good. Like I'm really not sort of elitist in that respect. I just want to see that someone's put the effort in. And I want to share that experience and have a good laugh. Um, now I turn up to this, this gaming store and um, you know, I speak to the owner, I lay my army out on the table, whatever. And then the next guy comes in, you say hello or whatever. And then they open up their hobby bag and out come, you know, three unpainted Wraith Knights, unbased, unanything, uh, you know, three, six units of three-man jet bikes and three farces on bikes. And it's all unpainted, it's unloved, or there are proxies in there that aren't counts as, but an actual proxy or things like that. And he's just like, hi, and you're like, hey, how's it going? And they're like, yeah, not too bad, good, thanks, blah, blah, blah. You make small talk, then it hits home that this is not going to be the game that you want it to be. Um, because what I'm looking for is a fully painted army and a good time, and what they're looking for is to crush some souls. Now, I'm not saying that soul crushing is a bad thing, um, I'm just saying it's not what I'm looking for. So if I was looking for soul crushing, um, or, you know, cheesing it to the max, then I would want to play someone who wants to do the same thing, because I think I'd get more out of it. Um, I'm just saying from my perspective, as a fluffy player, as a narrative gamer, as a casual gamer, I'm not looking to be crushed on turn two. I'm looking to have a laugh and have cool things happen. Um, now, obviously, just a thing that I'll say now is there is no right way to play the game um, other than to the rules. Um, but there's no there's no right way to, to do this hobby. It's, it's your hobby and you enjoy it how you want to do it. Um, but I just want you guys to be aware that it is your hobby. And it's no one else's to tell you how you should enjoy it. Um, now, obviously, there are going to be situations where you feel pressured to play a friend who is just like a pain in the proverbial, puts down the cheese all the time, and you're just like, oh, I'm tired of this. So you just turn around. The next time you go, is go and play and say, hey, do you want to do a narrative game? Or how about we play this system? Or how about we try this scenario? And, you know, if they're not willing to be flexible, Maybe it's time to find another gaming person to play against because you want to get, you want to enjoy it. I don't want you guys to be, you know, going into gaming stores having, you know, crap games because they're not what you enjoy and giving up the hobby. Because it's about uh, enjoying the moments you have on the tabletop and behind the hobby desk. So I, I'm going to stop now before I ramble on forever. Um, but I just want you guys to be aware, you know, it's your hobby. You do with the hobby what you will. And um, it's always best to try and find a like-minded person or a few like-minded people to enjoy the hobby with. Um, never say no to a way of playing until you've tried it. But if you've got a favoured style and if that's what you're in the hobby for, then you try and find those kind of games because that will definitely keep your motivation and your interest in the hobby uh, for much longer than if you adjust to other people's needs. So anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Have you ever felt pressured into playing a game that you didn't really want to play? Or um, what kind of games do you like to play? You know, let me know, because it's always interesting um, what my subscribe, like knowing what subscribers like. So I am really interested in whether you're full maximum competitive, whether you are all about the narrative and taking, you know, what I would call a sensible list, um, those kind of things. Or are you, you know, somewhere in between? And if you are somewhere in between, what kind of side do you lay on? Uh, another cool thing we could, a little exercise we could do is if you are into 40k, as I know a lot of my subscribers are, leave a comment in the description below of kind of your top three units in a 1500 point list. Um, I'd be interested to see what you guys are bringing to the tabletop. Um, so thank you ever so much, like I said, for watching. And uh, it's been me, Callum from Tabletop Banter. Don't forget, 
have fun.